In our last example of our current set, to show you how to integrate using method substitution is this one right here. And right away, you see that you probably want to substitute u for natural log of x. So let u equal the natural log of x, which means du dx is equal to 1 over x. du is therefore equal to 1 over x dx by moving the dx over, or dx is equal to x times du. And let's substitute this and this back in the integral. That means this is equal to the integral of 3 divided by x times, instead of natural log of x, we write u to the third power. Instead of dx, we write x du. And then notice how this x and this x cancels out. And we're left with, and of course, I'm going to take the three outside integral signs. So this is three times the integral of 1 over u to the third du. Now, I'm going to take the u to the third and move it to the numerator and write it as u to the negative third. So this is equal to 3 times the integral of u to the negative 3 du. And then, of course, I know how to integrate. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to add one to the exponent, divide by the new exponent. So this is equal to 3 times u to the minus 3 plus 1 over minus 3 plus 1 plus a constant of integration. So simplifying that, that is equal to 3 times u to the minus 2 over minus 2. Of course, we don't like negative exponents. I'm going to move it. Oh, and don't forget the plus c. Got to have a plus c there. And then I'm going to move the u to the minus 2 to the denominator to make that into a negative, uh, into a positive exponent. So this is equal to minus 3 over 2 times 1 over u squared plus c. And finally, substituting back in what u is equal to right there. And so this is equal to minus 3 over 2 times 1 over the natural log of x squared plus the constant of integration. And that's the solution of this particular integral. All right, so this was fairly straightforward. Again, make sure you remember that most likely when you have a situation like this, you want to substitute u for the natural log of x, and then the rest is fairly straightforward. Hopefully these examples helped you understand how to use the method of substitution in various examples. We use some uh, logarithms. We use some e to the x kind of functions, we use some uh, polynomial functions, and in the future we'll do some more examples using trick functions and so forth, but at least this gives you a pretty good set to start with. So, good luck with these, give them a try, take a look at the other videos, and hopefully by now you have a fairly good understanding of how, how to use the method of substitution to integrate.